Joining me now is uh, Ferial Hafaji, who's the editor of City Press, which is a weekly South African newspaper. Welcome to Al Jazeera. Thank South you. Africa's uh, Ministry of State Security has launched an investigation into these uh, leaked cables. And, yes. and Minister of State Security, David Malobo, has said that while it's an international practice for countries to share intelligence on cross-cutting issues, mm -hmm. the leaking of the purported documents detailing operational details of the State Security Agency is condemned in the strongest possible terms. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? Well, the, the statement took three days to come out, so I suspect there's been a lot of behind the scenes um, damage control, risk assessment, etc. And for me, it was a pretty predictable statement. Obviously, such a massive leak was going to cause consternation, and the tone of the statement uh, shows that. Is this making big news at the moment, this, this, this leak back in South Africa? It's making huge news. Um, today was the big budget day, so obviously less news, but for the week I would say it's been the narrative. Okay, let's talk about the, the, the break-in at uh, sure. uh, the South African nuclear plant that we heard mm -hmm. about in, in that report there. Uh, according to uh, the spy cables, Chinese agents <laughs> were responsible mm -hmm. and not nuclear terrorists. Mm. What, what are we to make of that? So when the story, when the break-in happened, it was huge news. It went around the world. Um, and it's been quite quiet after the cables came out, possibly because China is such a huge trading and diplomatic part, uh, partner of South Africa. Turns out now that it was Chinese break-in to try and get um, intelligence on the pebble bed mo uh, modular reactor, technology which has been shelved now but at the time was quite in vogue. Okay? You say that China is, uh, is a huge trading partner. Yes. In South Africa. It's more than that, though, isn't it? As the spy cables uh, are showing, it's, it's, it, it has a, a lot of access to, to, to South Africa's security services. Yes, and that's a key theme running through the cables, um, that our, our installations are not properly um, secured at all. They also look at numerous other plants and specific concerns about highly technological ones, like nuclear, for example. The cables also show us that, that Israel is quite heavily involved in that part of the world as well. What's the general feeling about about, about mm. Israel's involvement in, in, I think in that Southern Africa. The, the leaks on Israel are possibly the most damaging mm. um, because under apartheid they were a very strong partner of that state and I've seen that relationship fraying. I'm sure that, this, uh, that these sets of leaks cables are going to make that relationship that much more difficult now. Feriel, good to talk to you. Many thanks indeed for being Thank with you. us. Uh, Feriel Hafaji there from the uh, City Press, a weekly South African newspaper.